Number 1, Stephen Hebner, Ballroom Dancing. No, we're not making this up. Believe it or not, ballroom dancing is a real sport, referred to as dance sport by its competitors, and it actually came close to being included in the Olympic Games. In August of 2012, Hebner and his partner, girlfriend Donnie Atkins were competing at the Killick Classic event at the Ritz. Carlton Hotel in Manola Penn, Florida when Hebner suddenly appeared to grab his throat as he fell on the dance floor. Number 2, Bird Yancey, No. Well, really? Barring a scene out of Caddyshack, it's hard to envision how someone could kick the bucket on the lane. But after reading this list, you can probably deduce what the cause was. And you'd be right, a heart attack. Yancey was 56 years old in late August of 1994 when he was Park City, Utah practicing in advance of the opening round of the Senior PGA Franklin Quest Championship, number 3, Ryan Shea, Marathon. Another man who was hoping to appear in the Beijing Olympics was the 28-year-old Shea, the U.S. Olympic Marathon Champion from 2003. So he went to the U.S. Olympic Trials in New York's Central Park in November 2007 to try and earn a spot on the American team. But about five and one half miles into the race, Shea collapsed and was rushed to a hospital, where he dried before the race even finished. Number 4, Georgi Kalonics, Canoeing. Canoeing deaths don't just happen to kids at summer camp parameters on recreational lakes and streams. Kalonics was a two-time Olympic gold medalist for Hungary and was preparing to compete in his fifth Olympic Games in Beijing. But in July of 2008, Kalonics was training in Budapest when he reportedly became unresponsive and his canoe and was unable to be resuscitated. Hard problems appear to be behind the death of Kalonics, who is considered to be the best canoeist ever produced by Hungary. Number 5, Fran Crippen, Open Water Swimming. Sure, you can just climb onto dry land if you get in trouble in an open water race. But how is it possible for elite athletes to drown during this type of competition? Griffin's case illustrates precisely how that can happen. The 26-year-old was swimming in a 10K event in the United Arab Emirates in October of 2010, but he never reached the finish line. Two hours after the race. His body was found underwater about 500 yards from shore. Number 6, Andrew Bart Simpson, Sailing. How can anyone be harmed in an activity that evokes images of serenity and beauty? You forget that sailing takes place in a colossal ocean of large yachts that are built for speed. As a result, even experienced sailors like Simpson are not immune from danger. In May of last year, Simpson took his 72-foot catamaran out into San Francisco Bay for a training run for the 34th America's Cup event. Number 7, Malik Joyux, Surfing. We watch a lot of it at the beach and on TV, but professional surfing can be hazardous when competitors are trying to navigate massive waves that eventually crash down with enormous power. That's what happened to Joyux at a competition in Honolulu in December of 2005. Number 8, Will of Slack, Cricket. Even Westerners who don't understand cricket can surmise that the odds of dying during a match are very low. On a very rare occasion, someone will get injured from being hit by a ball. But Slack's death occurred during a match in Gambia, a nation in West Africa. Slack, who was born in St. Vincent of the Windward Islands and played much of his cricket in England, had suffered some unexplained blackouts during the 1987 and 1988 seasons. The left-handed batsman collapsed for the final time in January of 1989. A probe later found a damaged artery which had not been diagnosed by doctors. Number 9, Motor Cool Memory Dash V Live, Luge. Sliding downhill at speeds around 90 miles per hour with nothing but a thin metal sled between you and a hard sheet of ice? It seems dangerous. But only a few people have ever died on the way to the competition. Which is why the death of Notre Cool Mary Ashfield at the 2010 Winter Olympics in Vancouver caught the world off guard. The 21 year old, number 10, Hank Gathers, college basketball. This is the entry on this list that many Americans are most likely familiar with. 
Gathers was an All-American player for Loyola Marymount University, and his team was facing Portland State in the first round of the West Coast Conference postseason tournament in March of 1990. After 7 minutes and 26 seconds of LMU's high-octane attack, the Lions are already up by 12 points when Gathers suddenly collapses to the floor, never to get up. Number 11, Alex Marquez, Soccer Believe it or not, over a hundred professional soccer players have died on the pitch during a match over the last 125 years. Although usually these deaths did not involve contact with players or goalposts. The most recent victim was Marquez, who started the match for his GD Tours inside in a Portuguese third division match against Carabin Hintz in November of last year. Number 12. Jorge Herrera. Horse Racing. Given a huge difference between hefty racehorses and diminutive jockeys, it's probably amazing that these types of deaths don't happen more often. On average, about two jockeys per year lose their lives due to injuries suffered during the race. One of the most recent took place in July of 2012, when 33-year-old Jorge Herrera was atop Mormico in the final race of the day at a track in Pleasanton, California. Number 13, Butterway Land cycling. Obviously, when you're flying down hills at speeds of 50 miles per hour on a thin piece of metal and two skinny tires, you're definitely at risk for a serious accident. Over 100 cyclists have died during races in the past 120 years. The most recent competitor to perish in a major race was the 36-year-old Wayland during the 2011 Giro d'Italia. During the road race's third stage, the Belgian rider reportedly looked back over his shoulder at trailing riders as he approached a slight left bend. Number 14, Lane Frost, Rodeo. It's arguably the most infamous death in the history of rodeo not only because it happened to one of the sport's biggest stars, but also because it came from a common blow from a bull that wasn't known to be mean. In late July of 1989, Frost was competing in the Cheyenne Frontier Days Rodeo and had just ridden bad to the bone for the necessary 8 seconds. He dismounted and landed on all fours in the mud, and the bull happened to turn its head and drive its horn into Frost's ribs at the wrong angle. Number 15, Al Lucas, Arena Football. Lucas is the only professional football player in history to die on the field during a game. In April of 2005, Lucas was covering a kickoff for the Los Angeles Avengers during the first quarter of their game against the New York Dragons. He collided with two Dragons players, and the thigh knee of one of them struck Lucas in the head. Number 16, Derringer Clay, College Football. The most recent college football player to die on the field of play was in 1919 when a defensive player for Northwest Missouri State collapsed during the fourth quarter of a game against Southwest Baptist and couldn't be revived. A subsequent autopsy showed that the 20-year-old Kate has idiopathic hypotropic cardiomyopathy, which thickens the walls of the heart. Number 17, Owen Hart, Wrestling. Numerous professional wrestlers have died real deaths while competing in this so-called fake sport. Many of them, like Mikey Bynes, simply suffered heart attacks during a match. But the most shocking wrestling event death actually occurred during the pre-fight build-up. In May of 1999, Hart was on the card as the Blue Blazer for a pay-per-view wrestling event in Kansas City. Number 18. Becky Zerlands, Women's Boxing. Not surprisingly, dozens of male fighters have perished as a result of one or several too many blows from an opponent. But Zerlins is the first female boxer known to have died in the ring. The 34-year-old college teacher was competing, with regulation headgear, in a Golden Gloves fight in Denver in 2005 when she was hit by a punch in the head from Heather Schmitz. Number 19, Todd Skinner, Free Climbing. Continuing with a deadly sudden stop theme, in October of 2006, the 47-year-old Skinner was rebelling down the Leaning Tower in Yosemite National Park when he became detached from his rope and plunged 500 feet to his death. It's the type of accident that experienced climbers consider to be fully preventable. Top 20 Athletes Who Died in Action Number 20. Nicholas Pochette, Speed Skiing 
This sport barely makes the list because its competitors achieve speeds of over 120 miles per hour, and the world record is actually 157 miles per hour. But like they say, it's not the speed that kills you, it's the sudden stop. Such was the case for Bochete, a speed skier for Switzerland who was practicing the day before his event at the 1992 Albertville Winter Olympics.